what is going on everybody welcome back to the CEO of our YouTube channel we haven't had a video in a long time so I thought I would pick my team of the tournament for the Qatar World Cup obviously as finished with Argentina as the winners as I predicted but let's get into my team of the tournament the manager then for me has got to be the Morocco manager I think he's done an absolutely outstanding job to get them to where they went in the World Cup to get to the semi-finals Absolutely unbelievable achievement for them, and I just thought they haven't, they didn't really concede too many, and they're just really, really strong overall. In nets, then is the Croatian goalkeeper Dominic Lavrik, Lavrok. I don't know how you say that, but um, superb again on the way to the semi-finals. He was fantastic, saving penalties, and was one of the reasons Croatia got so far. And right back then is the Moroccan Afrash Akimi. I think he's really sort of shown in this World Cup what he can do. Um, he's obviously had a couple of loan spells that have just been a bit of nothing and now he's at Paris but he really cemented himself in this World Cup another person that cemented himself is Gradovold from Croatia the Red Bull Leipzig centre-back had the tournament to remember I definitely think if he's not getting signed in January he's definitely getting a move in summer um, possibly to Chelsea but a fantastic performance from him and then I've also went with Nicolas Otamendi now a lot of people might point out the final. He didn't have the best final. They give away the penalty and stuff. But I think Otamendi's been absolutely solid. It could have been Otamendi. It could have been Romero. Either one of the Argentine centre-backs for me. Left-back is Theo Hernandez. Theo Hernandez from France. AC Milan's left-back. I thought he had... He had a consistent World Cup. He looked a bit off against England. Um, but he looked really well throughout the rest of the World Cup and in the centre mid spot is the second Moroccan in the team is Noreen Amrabat who covered 99% of the pitch I would say in that World Cup absolutely unbelievable stamina from him there getting the first centre back position centre mid position in centre attacking midfield Antoine Griezmann he's had a quiet season with a flatty but what when he puts that French shirt on different class absolutely unbelievable um, in that French front three, but I'm just playing him just behind as I can. The other centre mid then is going to be um, that man, Enzo Fernandez. Of course, he won the Young Player Award, um, and he just t changed that Argentine team from that game week one when he wasn't playing, and he just made them an even better team going forward. Right wing, of course, it's Lionel Messi. It's not going to be the anybody else. Uh, the greatest player to ever play football, in my opinion. Absolutely unbelievable World Cup from him. And of course, finally winning it for Argentina. Moving on to the left wing position then. Of course, it's another one who's quite obvious. It's Kylian Mbappé. Um, golden boot, eight goals at a World Cup is ridiculous. A hat-trick in the final is ridiculous, regardless if it's two penalties. Kylian Lebap showing that he's going to be one of the future greats. And then closing it, strike, I could have had a few names. Um, but I've had with Julian Alvarez. I think Julian Alvarez has just been... Unbelievable, sort of in Messi's shadow a little bit, but I think he definitely deserves his team in the tournament. Honorable mentions there, um, Ed Valencia from Ecuador and also Colo Miambe from France. But thanks for watching, guys. I've been CUFO and I will see you in the next one.